All right, uh, in this video we're going to do a soffit uh, and fascia takeoff here. Um, just getting started doing a takeoff on a uh, some garages on an apartment complex. Uh, so we'll start with that. Um, let's see what we got here. I guess this one. Uh, we're going to have 12 inch. Looks like we're going to have a 12 inch soffit there. And. So that'll be on the front and back. Yep, that'll be on the front and back. And then I did notice on the sides there, it looks different on the on the two ends. And it is. We're gonna have 16 inch on the on the two ends. So we're gonna have two different sizes of uh, of soffit here. And fiber cement vented soffit okay so that'll be uh, it'll be easy enough so we'll drag in our zone folder there and let's see we're gonna have 12 inch so let's go down here we'll just grab our fiber cement soffit Drop that in and one foot. And we're not going to worry about the color there. Right. All right, that should do that. Um, we are not going to have a wall receiver or a fascia receiver, obviously, with doing, uh, with doing uh, fiber cement. Cause it's going to screw right into the bottom of the rafters <clears throat> so we'll just come down here and let's see we're going to be right there and Alright, so there's the two ends, and actually those are both going to have to go out. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, those are both going to have to go, uh, well, not necessarily. I guess it really doesn't matter here with the... Uh, it depends on if they're going to 45 the corners or not. Let's just say that they are. Um, so we have, we need to switch our material here to a 12 inch vented fiber cement soffit. It's going to come in 12 foot pieces. And <clears throat> okay, so gonna have two eight inch there that is the actual fascia board is what that is um, and actually it's gonna have to be an eight inch I'm sure All right. So again, those were the wall receiver and fascia receiver. We don't have don't have those here, obviously, because this is again screwing into the bottom of the rafter. Um, so we're actually done with that one. Let's just duplicate that, and we'll get our two sides here. So we're going to be 16 inch. Let's just change our color, and everything looks right again. So we will just do that and then let's say we're going to take those out to 45 those corners. Let's just do this. Alright, so we got that. We got the option to do that um, if they want to. Um, we only added on uh, 
what, one, two, three, four, five, five foot, four inches or something like that, I guess. So if we're, if they're not going to do it, it's fine. Um, no big deal. Uh, but we do, we do have our soffit there. Um, we, we actually do have a zone folder for soffit and fascia. You, you certainly could use this uh, separately. Um, I generally just throw everything in with the, oops, with the, with the type of siding that I'm doing. Um, but we, we can certainly throw that in there. And you see that that'll just calculate up the, the linear foot that we have there. Um, so we have both of those done. Um, I, guess, I guess you could, on, on the uh, 16 inch, could have three grids of nails possibly um, but again we got that eight inch fascia there and again we're, we're gonna be a little bit long because we're, we're gonna wrap those ends um, but we're what is that four yeah four pieces um, I mean you're gonna have to buy the next piece up anyway so Probably not going to hurt us uh, much, um, especially the more we have. We can have a little bit extra waste there on, on the linear total. So um, that'll do it for the uh, for the soffit. If we, if we look here, um, I guess we do, we do have two. Um, those aren't shown there, are they? No, let's go over here and pick those up, and boy, we have no idea what them are going to be, though. We're going to need a roof plan, and they don't have any roof plans for these garages here yet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave those off for now. We're going to have to get some more information before we can do those uh, to figure out what... Uh, what size of soffit we need here. Um, you got 12 inch along the front, but that doesn't mean that those are going to be 12 inch. Uh, most likely it would be, but uh, I guess let's let's find out. Let's find out before we before we do it. I guess. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, that's a, that's pretty much it for the soffit. Um, you know, again here, this this was a, a very simple one. Um, you can see the options we have in there for the soffit. Um, you know, in this case with the fiber cement, you know, you, you basically are just uh, screwing or nailing the soffit to the bottom of the rafter, and, and uh, you know, and there's the, the the trim board that we're going to use for the fascia. Um, you know, and within there also there are the fasteners for that if if you wanted a different fastener, I guess. Um, you know, and the, and the the only difference here is you got two different sizes. You got 12 on the front and back, 16 on the sides. So uh, that that'll pretty much be it here. Um, you know, we can go. This is all we got in here so far. But we can go here to the estimating tab and take a look at it and see what we got in there. Um, you know, obviously might need to uh, check some numbers on here first before we get uh, get too carried away. Um, but so far, it's, we're, we're doing all right. So we'll be back uh, the next video. We'll uh, we'll do the the actual siding takeoff. Got some fiber cement siding and, and some trim boards and whatnot. So we'll we'll do that here in the next video. So be sure to come back for that.